In this question, we are being asked to enlarge triangle A by a scale factor negative 2 with the centre at 2, 2. So the centre of enlargement is at 2, 2. And we're going to do this by looking at each of the corners of the triangle separately. So I'm going to take, start with one of the corners. It doesn't matter which one. And look at how far you've got to move from the centre of enlargement to get there. So to get to this green point, I go along two, right two, up one. So if I write that as a column vector, that's two, one. And I'm going to multiply that change by negative two. So the change in x was two, right? If I times that by negative two, two negative twos is negative four. So it's now going to go four to the left. And it was going one up. If I multiply that by negative 2, 1 negative 2 is negative 2. So it's now going to be going 2 down. So this green point is now going to be back 4, down 2. And I can do this for each of the points. So I'm going to take another corner of the triangle. To get there from the centre of enlargement, I was going to have to go, or to get there from the centre of enlargement, I go 4 right up 1. So 4, 1, and I'm going to multiply that by negative 2, so that will now be negative 8, negative 2. So left 8, down 2. And there's one more point, so that is a long 2, up 4 at the moment. So a long 2, up 4 right 2, up 4. I'm going to multiply it by negative 2. So it will now be left 4, negative 4 in the x direction, and down 8, negative 8 in the y direction. So left 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and down 8, 2, 4, 6, 8. And I can join these points up. And this is my triangle enlarged by a scale factor of negative 2, center at 2, 2. To check my answer, I can join up the two green points, and they will go through the center of enlargement. My two yellow points will go through the center of enlargement if I join them up. And my two purple points will also go through the center of enlargement. So I know I've done it correctly. So that is my enlarged triangle. Here's another one. Enlarged triangle A by a scale factor negative 3, center 4, negative 3. So the center of enlargement is at 4, negative 3. The center of enlargement is here. And again, we do one point at a time. So if I take one of the corners of the triangle, and that would be my red point, so to get there, at the moment, I go along one, down one. So one right, one down. I'm going to multiply that by negative three. So that will become negative three, three. So back three, up three. Back three, up three. So that's my red point. I'll take a green point. So to get there, it's a long one down three, a long one down three. We're gonna multiply that by negative three. So the change in the X multiplied by negative three, so that becomes negative three. And the change in the Y, negative three times negative three is positive nine. So that becomes back three, up nine. So that goes to here and I have a blue point, a long 2, down 3. So 2, negative 3 is how far you have to go from the centre of enlargement to the blue corner at the moment. If I multiply that by negative 3, I'll get negative 6, 9. So I want to go back 6, 2, 4, 6, up 9, 
three, six, nine. And I'm going to join up my three corners. And this will be my new triangle. And again, I can check my answer. The red point and the red point, if I join them together, will go through the center of enlargement. The green point and the green point will go through the center of enlargement. And the blue point and the blue point will go through the center of enlargement. So I know I've done it correctly. Here's a different one. We've got the scale factor of minus 1.5. So it's going to be the same thing. The center of enlargement is at the origin. And I'm just going to take it one point at a time. So I have a green point. To get there at the moment from the center is a long two up one. So two one. The scale factor is minus 1.5. So I'm going to times the change in x by minus one and a half. So two positive times a negative is negative. Two times 1.5 is three. And one times negative 1.5 is negative 1.5. So to get to my green point now, I'm going back three, down one and a half. I'll have a blue point, which at the moment to get to is four one. I'm going to multiply that by minus 1.5. So that will become negative 6, negative 1.5. So back 6, down 1.5. And the other corner of the triangle, to get there from the center, I go along 2, up 4. So 2, 4 times by minus 1.5. It's going to be negative 3, negative 6. So back 3, down 6. So I've got all three corners of the triangle. I'm going to join them up. And again, I can check my answer. So to go from the purple point to the purple point, I'll go through the center of enlargement. Green point and green point go through the center of enlargement and blue point and blue point go through the center of enlargement. So that is an enlargement by scale factor minus 1.5. And one more of these, this time we're enlarging by a scale factor of minus a half. So the center is at the origin again. So let's pick a point any of the corners. So to get there from the center of enlargement at the moment is back four up two. So minus four two. I'm going to multiply that by minus a half. So a negative times a negative is a positive. Half of four is two. And a negative times a positive is negative. Half of two is one. So it's going to be a long two, right two, down one. I'll pick another point, another corner, which is back six up two. So multiply it by minus a half, which becomes three negative one. So a long three down one. And the other corner is back six up six at the moment. Multiply it by minus a half. So that becomes 3, negative 3. So right 3, down 3. Right 3, down 3. Join up the points. And that is our new shape. And again, the red point and the red point, the blue point and the blue point, and the green point and the green point will all go through the center of enlargement. Here we have a different question. This time we need to describe a transformation. So the first question says describe the single transformation that maps triangle A onto triangle B. 
we can see it's an enlargement. We can see it's change size. So it's an enlargement. That's one of the bits of information we need to give. We also need to give the scale factor and the center of enlargement. So let's work out the scale factor and the center of enlargement. If we join up each point on triangle A with the point it goes with on triangle B, we can find the center. So where do all the lines cross? They all cross at 1, 1. So the center is at 1, 1. How about the scale factor? So it was 3 along. It was 3 along. So 3 times the scale factor equals it's now 2 along. Or I could have said, which may have been better, if I went from, so from the center to this point on, point on triangle A was back three, down three. So it was negative three, negative three. That times the scale factor is equal to up to along two. So it equals 2, 2. So it's negative 3 times the scale factor equals 2. Divide both sides by negative 3. So the scale factor is negative 2 thirds. So I would have found it's 2 thirds. And I would have had to add the negative on by just looking at the length. But if we look at the direction as well, we can get the negative as well. So the scale factor is negative two-thirds. Here's another one. Describe the transformation that maps triangle A onto triangle B. Try and give this one a go. So again, the first bit of information is it's an enlargement. So then we need to find the scale factor and the center. So we'll find the center of enlargement first. So if we join up each point on triangle A with the point it goes with on triangle B, we can find the center, which in this case is 2, 2. And then the scale factor, so if I look at a point on the point, this green point on A and B, to get there from the center was along 2 up 2, so 2, 2, times the scale factor, and that became 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 4, negative 4. So 2 times the scale factor, just looking at the change in x or the change in y, either one, so 2 times the scale factor is negative 4, half both sides, so the scale factor is negative 2. Here is a different question. So we've got shape A is reflected in the line y equals x to give shape B. So let's draw that on first. So the line y equals x is this diagonal line where, that goes through 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4. So the y is always equal to the x. So we need to reflect our shape in that line. So this point was half, well, half a box away, so the same distance away on both sides. This point was one away, so it'd be one away on the other side. And this point was two away from the line, so two away on the other side. So this is shape B. So this is shape B. So I'm going to write shape B. Then shape B is reflected in the line x equals negative 1. So the line x is equal to negative 1. So that's this line, x equals negative 1, to get shape C. So again, this point, this point was 2 away, so that would be 2 away on the other side. We've got 4 away, so 4 away on the other side. And again, two away, so two away. So 
if this is shape C, so if that's shape C, describe the single transformation that maps shape A onto shape C. So shape A onto shape C. And an important point here is where these two lines cross. So the two lines intersect, two reflection lines intersect at negative one, negative one. And so this is going to be a rotation. So to go from A to C, it's 90 degrees anti-clockwise. And the center is at negative one negative one so if we had tracing paper and we held the tracing paper at negative one negative one spun it around 90 degrees we'd get to shape c here's another one of these so shape a is reflected in the line x equals negative one to get shape b so let's draw that on so three away three away, three away, three away, and five away, two, four, five, two, four, five. So that is shape B. Shape B is reflecting the line Y equals one. So all the points of Y equals one are along this line to get shape C. So one away, one away, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So shape C is here. So this is our shape C. Describe the single transformation that maps A onto C to the center of the rotation is going to be at negative one, one. So this time we've got a rotation, 180 degrees, with a center of negative 1, 1. 